Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh. And I thought I would share an email with you tonight from a man that's a trader. He trades, he's been on and off trading for a while now, and he's considered taking my GAT class. And he was very honest with me and shared with me some of the problems that he's been having trading. And I thought I would share this with you. I'm going to read you one of the paragraphs he wrote to me because a lot of people probably feel like this guy. So he wrote back and he said, your personal touch is appreciated. You have an apprehensive trader here. No, not in your winning system. You know what's coming. I've been my own worst enemy. So basically he knows that he's been his own worst enemy in reference to his own success or preventing his own success from trading. I'll read the rest of this here now. Jumping from room to room, strategy to strategy, thinking each one is going to be the holy grail. He said, sorry, but you know, it's a trader's human condition and now he's gun shot. So I wrote him back, but I'm going to address this here on the video because I'm sure a lot of people feel like this gentleman. A lot of people have been attempting to trade the market on and off for years, some people for, for months, um, but some people for really a lifetime. And they tend to jump around a lot from thing to thing to thing. One of the things that I did really well, which just was based on nothing but instinct, is that when I started out in 2008, I learned a lot of different things, a lot of different strategies, but I learned just about so many different ones that it was, I wouldn't say it was overwhelming, but it just became very clear to me then once I started trading and going live that it really, I didn't really know enough detail about any one of these strategies that I had learned. I had learned about so many different strategies that I didn't know enough detail about them. And in fact, that that is what mattered. And so when one day I made a lot of money in a gap, I decided this is it. This is what I want to do. This is what I want to focus on and also happen to be a short. So it was a gap and a short. And that's what said, you know what? I said, this is the thing because there was momentum and volatility in gaps and it just had a huge, huge move. And it also had a fast move, which was very important to me because, you know, I typically an impatient person. I like things to happen fast, quick. Um, so making money fast is better than taking a while to make money. Okay. So anyways, long story short, a lot of people feel like this man. One of the reasons that I make the trading room requirement to be in the trading room, join the trading room is that you have to learn the system is because I want people to do well. And I know that people jump around from room to room. And I know people won't do well unless they get committed to learning one specific strategy to trade, whether it's my strategy or some other strategy. If you don't get good at one thing, you're going to have a very difficult time, extremely difficult time being successful in the market. So my best advice to you is to focus on one thing and become an expert in it. I have done that. I have done that. I am an expert at reading price action in the market based on the gaps. And I'm an expert in reading gaps themselves. And actually my ability to be able to read gaps so well uh, it has enabled me to be able to predict directions that specific stocks in the market is going to go. Now, who would have known that? I never knew that 10 years ago. I didn't know 10 years ago I'd be where I'm at today. I had no idea I would be this good at reading price action and predicting market actions and stock actions today in 2018 when I started out in 2008. But I am telling you that my focus on gaps and how important gaps are in the market has, has, has helped me get to this point okay so people don't understand gaps that trade even people don't understand gaps that even trade them and a lot of people don't trade gaps because they don't understand them and the people try to learn gaps from other people and they teach them wrong stuff like for example gap fills that does not work consistently either and i don't want to get into a whole big technical discussion tonight because i just want to touch on what this gentleman said but i i this is very important because a lot of people are like him they want to dip their toe in the water because they've been burned before but yet they really are just like this gentleman looking for the holy grail. Okay. Now I, I you know, I don't think like that. Again, I'm already ingrained in what I'm doing. I have a hundred percent conviction in gaps, but I'm telling you right now that if you are in this thing in your life where you're just like, gosh, I know I want to trade. I really want to do this. I just don't know what I should be doing. And you're jumping all around. You have to know that that's got to create a lot of anxiety for you. It's got to create a lot of anxiety for you. And you have to know also, you, common sense is you're never going to get good at something if you're jumping around way too much. And it does make a lot of sense if you do get good at something that you can make a lot of money. 
and you will then have the consistency which you need. And you will also have confidence and belief in yourself, but you gotta get in the system first and you gotta find something that resonates with you. And one of the reasons gaps, like I said, resonates with me is because I like to trade in the morning, I like to be in and out early, I like the morning period, I like the fast moves, I like big moves, and also I do tend to look to the short side first before any longs. But I, I, I know now, after 10 years, how important gaps are. Now, whether you believe me or not, I'm telling you it's true. But either, either way, either way, I'm telling you that jumping around from trade room to trade room, testing out the waters is never, never going to get you where you want to be. You really do have to get good at whatever strategy you decide that you want to learn a trade. And the best thing you can do for yourself is learn it too. It's got to become part of you. And once it becomes part of you, then you'll know it. And then you get into that knowing, that space where you just know something's going to work. You just know something's going to go. And that allows you to take the risk as well. So I'm trying to think of something else I was going to say. It's interesting because he admitted he was his own worst enemy. And I think a lot of people know that too. But all in all, you know, you can get good at something. You've got to be determined to stay committed to that thing to learn it. And I think that you know, it may be hard for you if you've failed in the past uh, to to get over your past failures, but the only way you're going to move forward, the only way you're going to be successful is if you get over the past failures. You can't be afraid that you are never going to be successful. You can't be afraid of the market. You can't be afraid that you're never going to make a mistake again. You might make a mistake again. But if you're afraid to even try or take a chance or learn something new or get good at something or focus on one particular thing, guess what? Then you're never even going to give yourself a chance to be successful. And that would really be a shame. Okay. So think about what I said tonight. Hopefully uh, this helps some other people that feel like him. It's really about getting good at one thing. You have to find what that is and stop jumping around going from training room trial or open house or webinar to think to think to think. Find something that fits your personality. Find something that more than importantly fits your schedule and your lifestyle. Get good at it. Find a good system and a good mentor. I'm mentoring people. I'm calling the trades live in the room. I also teach the class. So you're getting a lot from me for one price when you pay for the course. But really seriously, you got to get good at one thing if you want to do well in the market. Have a good night, everyone.